One, two, three. Hello. Dingo, I think, originated from Southeast Asia. Oh. But contrary to your dingo in Australia, our dingo, they can bark, but they still can owl very, mm. at night, very amazingly. Yeah. Like wolf. So it led me to this video, the 10 unique Australian dog bread, because in the previous video, we reacted to the dangerous animal. And the dingo was like part of it somewhat. Somehow mm. it's dangerous, but not. I don't think it's dangerous to you guys. I even think that in Australia, you may have a big fence. It's called a kind of a, I'm not a dingo fence. Dingo fence? Where dingo are stuck on the other side. Because mm. I think dingo are wild animal only in Australia. So anyway, let's see if we're going to learn things that we didn't know. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so cute. Australia is a fascinating country, not only for its culture and its people, Whoa. but also for its natural beauty and environment. Australian fauna oh, and flora are unique, pickle. revealing an enormous amount of endemic species, many of which make Australia so popular around the world. When we talk about the Australian fauna, maybe you immediately think is of that kangaroos, a kangaroo? or a yes. small kangaroo or a koala. However, Oh. Australian soil has also oh. gifted us with amazing Australian dog breeds that are unique both in appearance and temperament. So cute. Number 10, Australian oh. Terrier. Our Terrier. Mm. As its name suggests, the Australian Terrier is an Australian dog breed that belongs to the Terrier family. So it's cute. a small dog with an elongated Whoa. body, short legs, and well-proportioned limbs. It carries rough fur that may appear in different shades of gray, blue, or brown. Blue. Australian Terriers are vivacious, courageous, and active. They're considered excellent companion dogs. Number 9. Whoa. Australian Cattle Dog. Cattle dog. The Australian Cattle Dog, simply known as Cattle Dog, is one of Australia's most internationally recognized breeds of dogs. Really? Yeah, right? We shouldn't confuse it with the Australian Shepherd, which is a dog breed that actually originated in the United States. The first ancestors of Australian Cattle Dog breeds were born from crosses between the Dingo and Highland Collies. Yeah, what can I say? It looks like one of our dogs here. You want to say hello to the camera? Eh? 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 I know. Just the, the face and the, the different color oh. between the face a little bit. Breeds appearance, as we know they look today, like a dingo a little is bit. the result of the selective breeding of its ancestors with yeah, other dog breeds. These other dog breeds include Dalmatians, oh. Bull Terriers, and the Australian Kelpies. Oh. The result is an Australian cattle dog breed with a particular beauty, remarkable intelligence, great courage, and endless energy. Weird color. Number yeah. eight. Australian Kelpie. I've never heard of this Kelpie. The Australian Kelpie is an Australian sheep dog breed. Oh. Its appearance is the result of selective e breeding. E e -L with the sheep. Mixing Northern English Collies and Native Australian dog breeds. So well, look at this. That border Collies and Dingoes were also used in the creation of Australian Kelpies. This Australian dog breed is incredibly strong and has a great predisposition to both work wow. and training. You're a big girl and you try to be dominant, eh? But that's a beautiful specimen. His head resembles that of Smart. a fox, carrying yeah. noticeably almond-shaped eyes and a tender expression. Uh, it's In like Australia, no more dog the Kelpie here. is admired for its inexhaustible energy, its ability to learn, and its extremely oh strong desire for this exercise. Really like <laughs> Number seven, off really Australian yeah. Silky Terrier. The Australian oh, Silky Terrier, or Silky Terrier, popular in Thailand. is a type of Australian dog which came from British mixes. When looking at this dog breed, you can clearly see that it carries a lot of Yorkshire Terriers. I don't terrier. like those dogs because it's so much work. We have Princess. We have 13 dogs. Imagine if we all of our dogs were like this. The care that you need to give them so that they look pretty is so difficult. It's roots. It's a lot due of work. Due to its strong resemblance. Like its ancestors, the Silky Terrier was originally trained as a hunting dog. Oh. Known for hunting rats and small rodents. This Australian hunting dog hunting. breed has currently gained popularity as a companion look dog. Like it can Australian hunt. silky well, terriers go to are small known hole, for right? being affectionate with their tutors, but Again, weary this, with strangers. Like a little bit. Yeah, right. Number six, oh. Australian stag hound. This wow. is an Australian dog, which is perfect for a pet, and was historically used to hunt kangaroos and oh. boars. Akin kangaroo. to the greyhound, the stag hound of the U.S. and a Scottish deerhound. Same ear. Fluffy ear. You can see the difference in, in here between this one fluffy, fluffy falling, this one straight. The Australian Staghound is native to the land down under. However, it's not been officially recognized as a breed and could be considered a lurcher in other countries. Aww. 
Number five. His long legs. Australian kangaroo dog. Kangaroo dog. This is an Australian kangaroo dog, known for its energetic temperament and breeding focuses on the working Bobby. ability of dogs. The speed and fantastic eyesight of this sighthound are awesome. These rude dogs are found in rural communities and are suited to the warmer parts of the country. Okay, I wonder... Scenting abilities yeah. are the reason this dog is well known. Number four, oh. Beaglier. Beagley, not a beagle. This is a designer a breed, which mixes the beagle and the King Charles Spaniel. It oh. sadly became popular through crossbreeding in the late 20th century. Wait, no, this one looks like our Itzy, right? Yeah. I don't know. Popular in Australia on account of their friendly and caring temperament, they have short, rounded muzzles. Variable markings and coat colors hey, make for an attractive dog. Beagleers are tri-colored and have a coat which is soft and smooth. Beagleers are small to middle-sized dogs weighing between 4.5 to 11.5 kilograms and a height of around 40 centimeters. Okay, they are quite small. Affectionate, caring, and friendly. They are confident and intelligent. <laughs> Number three, oh, bull, bull Arab. Arab. The bull Arab is an Australian hunting dog breed. They are incredibly intelligent, Whoa. agile, and stable. This dog breed originates from a selective mix of bull terrier, greyhound, and pointer. The Ooh. breed has an acute sense of smell and is able to locate feral pigs as far as six kilometers away. Whoa. Number two, huh? <laughs> Miniature Fox Terrier. Miniature Fox, Fox Terrier. This is a small-sized, lightweight, working terrier known Beast as dog. the Mini Foxy in Aussie lingo. A balanced dog breed with smooth muscles. It has a distinctive head and an oval-shaped foot. There are three colored variants of coats, namely black and white, tan and white, and black, tan, and white. The Fox Terrier has short, fine hairs and weighs around 3.5 to 5.5 <laughs> kilograms. <laughs> and is around 30 centimeters high on average. Small. This Fox Terrier is a loving and playful dog. <laughs> Dancing. Number one, Cooley. Coolies are Australian oh. dog breeds, which have oh, not- Hold like on. Anna. This one looks like our Anna. Hmm? Huge difference in size. One probably look like the mom, one probably look like the dad. And with time, she get more brown spot on her body. Coolies are Australian dog breeds, which have not yet been officially recognized by the FCI. This Australian dog breed is very popular in rural areas of Oceania and are practically unknown outside of their homeland. Coolies were originally known as working field dogs with a powerful grazing instinct. Little is known about the birthplace and origin of this Australian dog breed. Coolies do, however, reveal similarities with Kelpies, Border Collies, and Australian Shepherds. They have an energetic, attentive, and intelligent temperament. With the adequate physical and cognitive stimulation, they're known for being incredibly loyal to their families. Aww, I mean, yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. Nine years old. Big girl, huh? Dingo. Originally from Southeast Asia. But the one in Australia, I don't think you eat, eat bark. Or Thai Dingo, they, uh, they bark, trust me. And they play extremely rough. That's a female. We found her in front of a 7 Eleven. She was this big. So she brought her home. You too, Kenny, you have an interesting story, eh? Now, interestingly enough, this one doesn't bark much. Doesn't lick your face either. You can see the ear are falling compared to the other one that look like a dingo that have the ear that is like this. This one ear is falling. <laughs>